Ready to continue your mystery? Today is clue number four for the mystery crochet along. Welcome back to The Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Today is clue number four in a 10 week clue mystery that we're doing. Now this one here we're going to be expanding and doing something, another layer on top of your granny square and this one is really unusual and I don't think I wanna ruin the surprise yet. You'll have to see the video. Also if you would like to have the written instructions as well as a diagram to follow you can also see a link in the more information of this video to be able to follow. Also in this video we're going to be making your granny squares a little bit bigger and we're going to be doing two steps within this video. Welcome back to Yarn Inspirations as well as the crochetcrowd.com. I'm your host Mikey. This is a preview for week number four and this is what it's going to look like at this point. We're not going to be worrying about these loops at this time but I do have some techniques uh, that uh, no, that you need in order to really do this effectively just like so. You need to keep those on the front side because I did half the video and I left them on the back and it really ruined my project. So uh, just be careful for that and I'll be uh, sharing a little bit more about that. So without further ado let me show you the diagram and then tips to get started. So here we are in week number three and we're about to go to week number four and we need to add two more rounds to this existing round. You should know that we're not gonna be touching anything with these big loops at this time. So week number four we're still leaving these out. We just gotta always make sure that they're in front though. So don't ever do anything and that they're behind. So what we wanna do now is that we wanna look at the graph that we're providing to you and then basically you can see that the instructions are going around and around. So we have two rounds going and we're gonna be filling in the spots just like so. So we just have to look carefully to where everything is going and it actually makes a lot of sense from that point. So this time here you see these red lines here. These are those loops on the outside uh, corners. We're not touching those at this time. It says that it's a chain 20 loop and uh, we're just gonna leave those so that they're in front. So okay. So let's, so without further ado, let's uh, get on with this and I'll show you how to do the first round. And this is week number four. So let's look a little more carefully at this diagram. You're gonna notice that there's a curvature here. These periods represent slip stitching and or starting points, uh, whatever you prefer on a diagram. Now you'll notice that it's got a curvature here and it looks like there's two. Well one is representing how you're starting. You're going to do a fastening on with the back post. So that these ones here and you can clearly see it here, this is a back post single crochet. So whenever we're in the center here we're going to do a back post a single crochet. Everything makes a little bit of a difference when it comes to your stitches all the way around and basically what we're going to do here is that we're going to start establishing this and pulling everything together. You're noticing that it's gonna go over top of other layers as well and that's what we're gonna be paying attention to the most. So without further ado now let's get started and we need to get your regular color. So we're doing going back to contrast A, your very first color that you started off with and this in my case it's blue. In your case could be anything else that you're working with. So let's begin. So to begin what I want to do is just create a slip knot to start. You have other ways of starting whatever you most prefer but that's my preferred method just like so. So we wanna look at the diagram and where are things going and we're simply just want to look back at to the beginning point. You can choose any one of the sides to start if you wish. It doesn't really matter at this point but you have to be consistent. So what you wanna do is that you wanna go right to the center and you see this here shell work. We wanna go right to the middle one there and we wanna insert from the back of the side post and then pop it out through the back just like this and this is where we want to attach our yarn. So let's attach that there. So we're fastening it on and I put both strands around when I go to do that just to lock it in. I have this phobia of my afghan always falling apart so this is just something that I prefer for myself. So what it says is to chain one. So we're gonna chain one and we're going to do a back post a single crochet into the same spot. So just coming in to the same. Just pull things apart if you can't see it. It's no harm in doing that and just come around and you wanna do a single crochet but it's a back post. 
So now we're ready to begin going all the way around. Now this here I'm going to use a darning needle to get rid of that at the end. So I'm gonna leave that to the back at this time. So let's move along this chart and this chart is really easy to read. You just gotta really watch for where things are going. So what we wanna do now is that we wanna do three double crochets and we wanna look on the chart and we're going to look for the very beginning here. Okay of this round here. This is the last round. We wanna go to the round below and get that first single crochet there. So we're going to wrap and we're going to go into a single crochet there. Okay. Do you notice how the lines in the graph are over top? Like the double crochets that I'm doing right now are over top. That means that that was pushed in behind. So this whole strand right here is in, in behind. Okay and we wanna do three double crochets into that spot, uh, space or that stitch. And then we want to chain one just like so and then we want to do a double crochet into and we wanna follow this up. So you follow it all the way up this time and this time we want to get into this stitch right here. Okay according to the instructions. So we just wanna get it like that. Okay so you just gotta look at that chart and really figure it out and we're going to chain one and then we're going to do three more double crochet. The next thing we need to do is put this loop forward. Okay, so don't even worry about that loop at this time. Just put it forward. It's out of your face and out of your way. So let's begin to do three double crochets and what we wanna look for is there, there's four stitches here. One, two, three and four and you wanna go into the first one of the four for three double crochets. This round is gonna take a little bit getting used to if you're doing all 20. Just be aware of that and just kind of, I would do each one of these rounds together. So I would do all 20 of uh, the same round so that you get a hold of the, the pattern. And then what we want to do is that we want to double crochet. We wanna skip one stitch, go to the second over and double crochet there. And then we want to chain one. And then this whole space over here this whole chain three space, we are going to put in a multiple of things. So we're gonna put in a double crochet, chain one, another double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet. And follow that with also a chain one. Okay, so you got all the way around there. And then we want to begin what we already have been doing over here, but we want to go across the other side. So I'm just gonna turn it and we'll do a nice flat space. Again move these loops forward, these big ones on the outside. So I've already done my chain one there in the last part of this and now I want to move along. So we're gonna double crochet and we're going to go second one in. So there's four stitches here just like there was here. Okay, so we went in the first one here and, and the third one. So this time we're gonna go from this side. It's gonna be the third one as well for a double crochet just like that and then we're gonna double crochet three times into the first one of the three or of the four sorry the double crochet three times in the first one of the four. Okay and then we're going to chain one and we are going to double crochet right into this same stitch right here. You bet. That's great. And now we're going to continue along and chain one and we're gonna double crochet into the first one of these here. So we're gonna look at this whole group and then go into the first one and double crochet three times. And three. Okay and now we just have to do a back post single crochet into the middle one here just like how we started. So you got five here just go into the middle one, pop it out through the back in the middle post only. So just in through the back, pull through and do a single post or a back post single crochet. And now we're ready to begin again from what we already know. So basically we started in the middle of this side. We're gonna carry on. So let's carry on and I'll show you how to do the remainder of this row. So let's just review what we're going to do. You may need to reverse yourself in this video because this uh, technique or this round is actually not as easy or to remember. So you have to probably reverse this video if you're using it. So you're gonna single or double crochet into three times into the first one over here. So go look at this round from the one below just like there 
and double crochet it three times. And then we want to chain one and then what we want to do is that we need to double crochet into the next one. So right where this is coming back out it's the same one right there. So we're gonna double crochet that space or that stitch. Let's move this forward. So if it's not forward yet just get it out of your way. You want to chain one first and then what we're going to do is that we're gonna pay attention here in this section as you go. So we're going to put three double crochets into the first one of the four. Okay, so there's four stitches there. So three double crochets there. One, two, and three. Okay, and then you're going to put in a double crochet into the second, uh, second one over. So just skip one, go to the second. And then chain one and now we're ready for the edge. So remember how we did it? So we did single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet and then do finish it off with a chain one so you're ready for the next row. So all you have to just do is just reverse this whole last row that you just did in order to make this and then basically it's going to be easy. So just continue to go around for the remainder of the two and I'll meet you back up in just a moment and then we'll start the next round which is really really easy. So I've just kind of gone all the way around and I'm kicking myself right now because see these loops? They're supposed to be on the front side. I should have put them on the front. I've trapped them so now I gotta frog my work. Normally I would never leave this in a tutorial but I'm going to frog my entire project well halfway through because I forgot to put the loops in front. Makes a difference. So make sure that when you're doing it don't leave your loops in behind. So I'm going back to where it starts so I can put it forward once again. <laughs> and you know what? I'll get learning the pattern even better. So I'm just gonna put these forward and making sure I redo my work once again. So I've come all the way back around again this time but this time I finally got all my loops, these big loops to be on the front side of the project. It does make a difference. Shows to go you that even the best of us can make mistakes. So, so I'm just gonna join it to the beginning single crochet that we had with the, it was a back post double crochet. I just wanna begin and just join there. And now I'm ready for the next round which is round number nine. Round number nine is so simple. We just have to match everything that we kinda seen going on. The only difference is, is that the final corner that you have right here has three extra double or single crochets in there. So we're just gonna start off by chaining one and then we're gonna put one single crochet into the same one and then we're just gonna follow along. So just single crochet. So there's three double crochets below. So we're just putting one into each. Now this is a chain space. So we're just gonna go around the chain space and then the next one is a double crochet. Just fill that in. The next one is a chain space. Just fill it in with a single and then just each one of these double crochets are just singles. This is a really easy round. Okay, so you're just looking for these chain spaces. So here's one here and I can remember that from the pattern. We wanna make sure we get our double crochet and then chain space but look the next one is the middle one of the three and we just wanna make sure that we put in three uh, single crochets into that same one so we can accurately turn and then just turn our work and then just keep filling in. So this is a gap space and then we're just going to fill this one in. See how easy that is? going all the way around. So this is going to uh, be a very easy round for all of your squares that you're doing and when we meet back up I'll just have the final we'll just fasten off and then you can be off to do this. Get your 20 done and then you can join me next week then for the next part of the mystery crochet along. So I'm coming all the way back around. I'm just single crocheting into the last one here and then I'm just going to join it to the beginning just like so. So I'm going to fasten off. I'm gonna weave in my ends nicely. We're gonna be dealing with these loops in the next week's clues and uh, this is how it's looking at this point and just really quick and easy. So just do a good job of just weaving in your ends at this time and then you can just join me next week as we continue our crochet mystery along. So there you have it. That was clue number four. Not only have we now completed a lot of the layers, are you, are you just amazed? Isn't it look amazing how everything is interwoven with each other? It is so cool. Also your granny squares have gotten a little bit bigger but we're still gonna go bigger yet and join us next week as we experience clue number five for the mystery crochet along. Until then, I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Mm -hmm.